Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we're gonna do a quick little update on the 39 Forgotten Hot Rod. So end of last year, into the fall, um, and even into the winter, I was driving this thing around and uh, just mechanically making sure that everything was good. We got it so it starts and runs really well, drives down the road pretty good, and uh, as with any of these projects, we found little things that we need to do on the car just to make it a little bit better and fix rattles, all you know, normal stuff. Um, so we got that to do in the next coming videos. But the thing we're gonna do in this video that we just decided was the interior, while if you loved it or hated it, we weren't really huge fans of those seat covers, but they got the job done just so we could drive the car around last year. Um, and we wanna do something with the interior. So um, we've been working on getting some new interior for the car made here locally. And uh, we are just about ready to pick that up and throw it in the car. So we're gonna be doing some uh, interior install on this, which will change the look of the car inside uh, quite a bit. And Steve and I are actually gonna work on making a rubber rear mat. Um, the front mat on these 37 to 9 and even 40s, they offer a front mat that's reproduction, just slides in and it's like the original ones. For whatever reason, I don't know, uh, I don't know the details on 37 to 40s, but um, there's no rear mat available aftermarket that I could find. So um, I have some of this uh, rubber mat that I've gotten off Amazon. It's like a pebble mat that comes in a real wide length. I actually have it in the Pagoda City Coupe for the floor covering. Works really good. I've had it in that car for five, six years. It's been super durable and has worked well. And it also kind of looks old school. So we're going to take some of that, put it in the back here, make a floor covering, and then we're going to go pick our interior up, throw it in, and see how it looks. All right, so I'll show you guys this floor covering, what we got. I ordered off Amazon. Um, that's where you can, you can pick this up. We'll put a link in the description um, for what I use. But it's got this cool like pebbled pattern to it, which I think is kind of neat. It just doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look like it's a floor runner, so to speak, but that's kind of how they, it's sold. Um, I got the huge roll. I think it was like uh, a little over a hundred bucks, maybe. It maybe it was 80 bucks, we'll have to look, but um, for this whole roll, it's like, I don't know if it was 50 feet or something, but I like that it's a long, um, it's like a four foot wide section, so it can pretty much fit in most any car. Um, that you need, it should fit in the interior. So stuff's pretty pliable, it's eighth inch thick. Um, so it's not super thin, but it's also not um, so, it's not so thin that it's going to tear very easily, but it's not so thick it's gonna bunch up and look weird. So um, that's the stuff, we're gonna get this cut open, rolled out, and, uh, and then we can start laying it in the car and see if we can make a piece up. All right, so we got that roll, I measured it. It's actually 49 inches tall or wide, and then it's obviously like a 50 foot roll. So uh, measuring the width of the car here, uh, we are at roughly 52 inches, not even including what we have to roll over the tunnel here. So that would require, let's say another inch or so, potentially. Um, so it's not wide enough just to put it like that, but it is, to our other rubber mat here, it is uh, 36 and a, let's say a half if we want to overlap a little bit, so quarter inch overlap. So 36 and a half is what we need, so it's 39, so it's actually perfect. We can use that piece and put it the width wise, and we can just roll our piece out and uh, you know make it whatever length we need and then we can just cut it. It's basically a square here, which is kind of nice. And then we might think we might just glue pieces in or something right there. So, um, so yeah, we're gonna get that cut open. We'll roll it out and see if we can get something to kind of conform here. We may have to use some spray foam and whatnot to get it uh, to uh, stay down. Two and we'll add a foot.
have extra, I know that. Mm -hmm. We can put it right underneath. Yeah. yeah. Pick your mat up. Go for it enough just so it disappears. We can always cut some off of that if we, mm -hmm. if we want to. Oh, we that. could cut it off of there and use it on the deck and on the ledge in the back. Pretty nice. Heck yeah, that looks nice. It's amazing how little finish, how little touches make it look more, so yeah. much more finished. Yes. Yeah, now when the back seat's in, you're not looking at sound deadening, it's rubber mat. Yep. And since the, even though the the texture doesn't fully match, yeah, you, you don't can't see them both at the same time. Exactly. <laughs> to be honest, it would have been, you know, you could have made the whole thing out of this and it would have right. looked good. But yep. So, I would say we'll mark mark along the edge here to mm -hmm. cut that off, and then maybe we'll mark this. You know, I don't know. We have leave like two inches or so that it's inside, mm -hmm. and then we'll cut that off. Pull it back out, cut all these edges, and then we should be good. It actually is fitting. I know. It's laying actually pretty nice, so it, it, I think we could probably just spray adhesive. All of this and kind of roll it, leave some heavy stuff on it. Yep. And it'll probably sit on. Yeah, right. from sitting out in the sun, I didn't even think about it. But yeah, leave it sit out in the sun before you install it. It's gonna work. It's gonna work way easier. All right. So where's my? This will probably add a good sound deadener a little bit too, just because of the rubber mat. Yeah. The scissors work? Yeah, you may. Um, yeah, that's fine. Yep. Right handed scissors. Yeah. Alright. Let's switch a start on this uh, one. Yeah, yep. Right? That works. Use those scraps like you said for the little mm -hmm. vertical section. Bing bang boom. Instant hot rod. I didn't do the rear deck, that was the only thing we haven't done yet. Ah. Not sure what to do on that. <laughs> we could, I don't know if it would look weird, put this rubber stuff. Yeah, I'm not bothering you guys, am I? Need to come your way, or do I have a bunch extra here? Yeah, I can come this way, so I'm, I'm probably good about there. We gotta pull this down. Yep. So it, you still have more there. Oh, I can always trim it. So. Yeah, I, I need a little more on this side. Oh. Okay, that's good. That will go. It's not bad. It goes right to the edge there. Nice. Yep. Goes on this side too. Just cut that little yep. ear off, piece off, and we'll be good. Make this luxury liner be a little quieter with the <laughs> sound deadening here. Uh -huh. Just gotta get rid of the 3,000 rattles and we'll be doing alright. Exactly, yeah. That is a cur definitely a current problem. <laughs> I think putting window fuzzies in and all that stuff. Oh, all that ma all it makes a huge difference. Yep. Yeah. Break down and do it. Right at the the support yeah. here, so we can go so further around. Yeah. yeah, come over this way a little bit. That's I'm right at the. Yeah, I'll edge. Cut a, 
honestly, it's you can almost leave it just with yeah. The way it's sitting, it's not really that. No, th this side is right at the you edge. Can, this you side. pulled it a little bit, a little bit. so roll just a tiny bit on yeah. your side. Yeah, let's come back my way a little more. It's not much, just like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I'd say we leave that alone. Heck yeah. yeah. Just a little more. Oh, with wow. you. I was thinking we could try and get it to right where this edge right here is. Mm -hmm. I'll be kind of like right where the seat, uh, the seat bottom kind of sits. Yep. Yeah, mine can go. I'm a little over here, so you know. yeah, getting a little crooked here. That's pretty good, I think. Yeah. Well, scooch it up some if we have to. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Yeah. Gotta use the force. <laughs> Imagine a straight line. I'm trying like hell, yeah. <laughs> Not too bad. Nope. Probably come forward from there, actually. Try to trim a little bit. Yeah, maybe a little bit on that one. All right, so got the trunk mat made, and we have the back floor mat made, and it's that's a little hard to see in here, but much better. Obviously, this one's all dirty from driving the car around. We got that one back in there. We didn't do anything where the seat is, obviously. We're gonna be throwing that in tomorrow, picking that all up. But got that all in. We actually found a piece of seal left over from the troll coop trunk seal section. So we put a little seal in there so the trunk will slam shut and uh, got some glue on it. So we're gonna shut this, leave it sit overnight. So the glue sets and uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good. But now finally the car has a full floor covering, which is pretty exciting. I can't wait to get the the seats in here and see it, and the door cards and see how everything looks. So it all shut up and come back tomorrow. Hey, when we were here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could see him in his little red car coming in the mm. driveway. Yeah, he did tell me they watched the builders for a little while. Yep. All Card number two. Baby. Might actually start with this back one because it's a Yeah, got the bad one first. Or turn here.
car is so big, you could just walk, pick it up and walk in with it. Yeah. Do you want to cut the rear floor mat or for the trunk, or do you want to um, go around it there? Uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Hi. Hi. Can I can I help you? If we're gonna do this. <laughs> Man. <laughs> He's looking for chipmunks. <laughs> Oh Where are they? Where are they? Thank you, man. I appreciate all that expert help you just gave. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> if I... I could punch a hole quick. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. Because okay. then the foot will sit down on the... Give me one second, buddy. Give me that screwdriver. He is sure that there's chipmunks. <laughs> you were pushing me out of there's the way. There's gotta be some in there. I mean, look at this. There's gotta be in there. Right, buddy? There has to be. There has to be. Um, and I need that. It's like a needy dog. <laughs> Why are we in? <laughs> He's really, really interested in helping right now. I really like putting seats in. Welcome to my dog. <laughs> Moon is the star of the show everywhere he goes. Yeah, right? Okay, Wait, start. hang on a second. It's time for my close-up. Right, buddy? Time for my close-up. Like, I've been waiting for you guys to get my seat in all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you're finally getting it done. I was wondering what you guys were wasting time with. All right. See, there's these little hooks. Yeah, those hook under that. Oh, okay. You gotta push the back in, and then the front. You gotta compress the front down underneath. Or something. Yeah. Same way General Motors, you know, did. <laughs> Everyone did it, I guess. Push right at the. Yeah. Right it oh, it did? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Right. Sweet. I Me first. There, I wonder if there was. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. I didn't even notice. Yeah. I wonder if there was a cover there, vinyl covering. Mm -hmm. Maybe. No, it doesn't look terrible. It's just. Oh, it's a pretty good seat. Yeah. I get used to this. <laughs> it looks comfy. It is. Doesn't smell like mouse nope. piss anymore. <laughs> <laughs> nope. No. Nice. It doesn't smell like a crime scene anymore. All right. I think it's time for. Dun dun dun. Fun scene. Again with the big car that's like <laughs> good. Watch you shift it there. Okay, a little more. Then we've got to go back. Stand it up and it needs to come over this way. way. Close. Close. And get a front bolt started. I'm gonna go forward a little bit. I do too. All right, so we got the uh, got the trunk in like we talked about. That's looking good with the rubber mat in here. See the green of that rubber mat in the back. End of the day yesterday, Steve and I got the door cards on. We got the front and rear seats in the car and they are looking awesome. So they're all bolted in and, and looking good. Um, Steve was working on in the back here. There's these little, for back, lack of a better term, hockey puck, uh, stick section, really hard to see here. But uh, Steve's got one in his hand there. He's putting on this side. So they go in the driver's and passenger door and then also over. It's just a weird thing, not weird, but just how they were done on these cars. So there's a little section here that was upholstered or fuzzy that went around. So we had it upholstered in black vinyl. So that's what Steve's putting on. I got the 
door handles and cra window cranks on. Mike scavenged at the warehouse and found these really cool kind of Art Deco looking uh, ha set of handles and knobs. And then I used a shoebox Ford Astuchins. I, they are my favorite. They look really, really cool. And they have the spring built into them. And then in the back there, you can see I added them for the rear window. So we're coming along. We're just about ready to, uh, once we get these last couple pieces on, we're ready to take it for a drive for some lunch or something because this thing's looking cool. It's turning out good. Yes. There we go. So you can see how this finishes out here around the edge and covers it and then it butts right up at the bottom. The door card and it looks nice once it's all installed. So one more to go and we are ready to put the Dunn stamp on this for now. Super excited. All right, fancy new seats. This is the nicest interior with the worst exterior ever. <laughs> Seats still feel like they're super far, like Cali. Lean. It's not. It's not as bad for me. It was the seats definitely moved forward a little bit now. Before I was like, I remember. <laughs> I was like a little kid trying to drive his drive, like a like a little eight year old kid stole his dad's car and he's With like wood blocks. Yeah, glued to his shoes. All right. Fancy window cranks. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? We can roll the windows down easily without stabbing your hand with the jagged. I was say, I, I did a good job picking out these window cranks. Yeah, they, they are actually pretty good. <laughs> the so. seats don't feel as scratchy, I will say that. Oh, and they're like, they're soft, but they're firm. Like yeah. before it was like, you like fell into the seat because there was no padding on it at yeah. all. So at least now. I would remember before because we had them just tucked under, this would ride up a little bit and you could feel it scratching oh, yeah. your love <laughs> on my love handles. Yeah, it was, uh, those covers served their purpose, but they weren't great. No. We gotta get this working next. Yeah, that's gonna be on Steve's to-do list. He's gonna have to take care of that uh, wiring. We gotta put a res resistor on oh, it. Come it's on, that, six that wiring, it's got, some life, it's got some life left. Yeah. It's not totally chewed through. <laughs> some shrink tubing, you'd be good. It just feels nicer in here because it's like Finish you just can't out. look up into the headliner area, but like right. everything else. If I tuck my hat down nice and neat, it's like <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a nice fancy car. Will we restore 39 yeah. Ford? It is wider in here. Yeah. Yeah, it got rid of all the got a lot of the red all that. Metal was resonating when you were yeah. driving, and now it's a lot wider in here. It's kind of crazy, because it. I definitely feel like the, when I rode with you to the uh, junkyard, definitely felt like we were screaming at each other the whole yeah. drive. Yeah, because everything was so like loud. Blah, 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 blah. And we put sound deadening in the trunk, yeah. on the floor, in the back there. We put a rubber mat in, so there's like a bunch of. They were sound deadening under this though, right? Yeah. I couldn't remember. Yeah, we put that down first, but that was it. Basically a stock T-bird engine, so it'll actually make vacuum. Yeah. So get some kind of wiper going in here. I thought we might have had an electric conversion I had laying around. I was thinking about putting in. Uh, I gotta see what we have. I, I have know. a couple extras. I have one for the 34. I I've set aside. Well, but these are a little different. The 34 is just a single arm. These have a, a real short shaft because they have the linkage. Right. <laughs> Moon's like, what the hell, man? I didn't get to go. What the? I wanted dog treats. Yeah. <laughs> Big stretch. Working hard, bud. All 
All right, so uh, Mike and I kind of took a fun little rip around town uh, to get some drinks and at the local corner store, and it was a good excuse to take a uh, first ride in the nice new interior. Uh, not only did this interior make the car look so much better inside and overall, it just looks a little bit less like an abandoned car and more like some kind of car that somebody put a little bit of effort into. Even though the body is, you know, is what it is, it is definitely a neat car and the upholstery has just made it so much better. I'm super excited with how it turned out. Um, the colors are perfect. Um, I can't stress enough, Chris and Shayna at the Rehab Upholstery, uh, they did a really great job on it, quick turnaround, and they, I kind of just gave them like rough idea. I brought the seats and I was like, I want black with red pleating, some kind of dark red, a little bit of green, go. And they kind of picked everything out and went from there, and it turned out really, really good. They were able to use our patterns and put everything um, together for the door cards and all that stuff, and um, the car is... It's awesome. It's it's much much better. It is a lot more pleasant to drive. It got rid of a lot of the rattles and noises and and the sounds from road noise from having everything open. It definitely helped with that. Um, so that is a big step with the car. We also got that rear mat in there. All that stuff helped a, a ton, just making the car look better. We still have a headliner to worry about. I know they make. Uh, replacement headliners for these cars that we could do. Luckily all the bows are still in the roof so I'm hoping we can get a headliner in this thing eventually. We still have a couple other things we want to work on. The rear suspension has settled quite a bit. I don't like the uh, way it's sitting anymore. I want to get the, the back end up just a little bit. it will also get rid of it's banging a little bit on the exhaust on big bumps. So we're going to work on a little bit of that other stuff as we're driving the car. Um, it starts and runs and drives really nice. At this point we're just dealing with little rattles and and bangs and different stuff like that that we have to work out. But as far as the reliability of the car, I'm pretty confident in this car and it drives down the road pretty nice. So that is a huge hurdle. And now it looks a little bit better. So that is a little update on the Forgotten Hot Rod. Hopefully this summer we'll be taking it out to some different cruise ins and events. And uh, maybe you guys might be able to check out this, uh, this junker, so to speak, uh, at a show or a swap meet. Um, definitely come by and say hi. So thank you guys, appreciate it. Catch you later.